The stop and go of hitting red lights can be a pain for drivers trying to get around Seattle. In South Lake Union, workers face traffic getting to and from work. I-5 is faster, but joining I-5 uh, usually take a lot of time. Niana works on Mercer Street and thinks changes could be made to alleviate traffic backups. It's very bad and even the uh, lights are, uh, they take a lot of time and these are not even sync. This could soon be improved in parts of Seattle as it is now the first city in the country to use new Google technology called Project Greenlight, where Google uses their maps and AI to figure out how the city can improve flow with stop lights and since it's a new project it's free to the city. Google told King 5 their recommendations can be implemented within minutes and can create waves of green lights allowing cities to improve traffic flow and further reduce stop and go emissions. Some people say the combo of those changes and better drivers should help on Seattle's notoriously clogged roadways. You can flow through most of them but when, once you miss one because someone filling up the intersection, then it's you're catching everyone the rest of the way down that down the street. Google says 50% of emissions at intersections are from accelerating after stopping, and that pollution can be 29 times higher at intersections than on open roads. Vehicles get better mileage when they're idle or they maintain a rate of speed. So if you could keep the flow of traffic at an even rate, yeah, you'd definitely reduce emissions. So with the green light on this new partnership, the city hopes drivers will soon see fewer red lights on the roads. That would be good, like uh, let's say there is uh, no uh, person who is waiting to walk, so at that time there should not be a light. Although Seattle is the first city in North America to use this technology, it is being used in 12 other cities around the world in places like Germany, Israel, and India. Greg? I don't know how much driving you do in the city, but I, off the top of my head, I can think of at least a dozen lights that I just seem to sit at forever. Do we have any idea, I mean, how many intersections that Google's recommending changes to, or do we even know that? Yeah, Greg, there's more than a thousand intersections in the city and they've implemented changes at three so far is what I was just told. Two of those are in Ballard and one is in Greenwood. Back to you, Greg. All right, so some work left to go for sure. Connor Board reporting from Seattle tonight.